member of parliament. Now, the National Assembly approved the, uh, the Parliamentary Pension Amendment Bill of 2019, which will see more than 375 lawmakers who retired between 1984 and 2001 receive a monthly pension of 100,000 Kenyan shillings. And that's the question we're asking. Should the member of parliament who is not serving you right now be paid their pension? That's the question. Send us your comments to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 channel, Facebook, and Twitter. My, hand, my handle is at Morani Hillary. I'm speaking to political analyst and an accountant, Silas Rizzo. Good morning and welcome to the broadcast. My name is Dereva Hillary. Morning, sir. Morning, how are you? I'm very well. Yes. Now, um, this pension thing, do you think it's another uh, insatiable greed by our political elites? It is. Uh, it's not a matter of thinking, but the fact is it is. And uh, this is not the first time they are tabling such a motion in Parliament. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, during Dwale's time, such a motion was tabled mm -hmm. in consideration of uh, pension for MPs. And uh, they stated that uh, an MP who has served two terms is entitled to a pension. And then they also envisioned that uh, those MPs who served a long time ago, one, they, they didn't have the privileges the, 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 M, the current MPs are having. So they were also like, how are we going to consider them? How are we going also to, 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 to make them benefit from all these things? So. The house has turned into uh, a house of uh, greed and a house of passing laws that benefit themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I want to recommend and con congratulate this SRC uh, team mm -hmm. for, their, for, their, for, their, for their effort they have tried to put in place in order to ensure that the public mm -hmm. money is not that wasted. True. Uh, it's not the first time SIS, SRC is coming to loggerheads with the, the members of parliament. Uh, parliament. Okay. I remember during Dwale's time, I think it was two years back, when SRC differed with the uh, parliament. To an extent, parliament had to give powers to the Parliamentary Service Commission, okay? Mm -hmm. So that they have those powers to approve each and everything that benefit themselves. Then there was also a question of uh, mileage, where MPs cheat on mileage. Mm -hmm. There was so many things. And I believe, uh, because our members of parliament have a lot of benefits, I don't see why we should give them a pension. Actually, because I want us to look at a statement or a comment made by Dwale. Mm -hmm. uh, you have mentioned him several here. Now, he said, now, this one will create a spiral effect within civil service uh, in that if the MPs can increase the pension of to 100,000, uh, what about the permanent secretaries, cabinet ministers, and other civil servants? Those are some of the things that we need to sit down and look into because it is not only a small thing. Remember, Parliament... Mm -hmm. is a law-making organ. This is uh, within the constitution. We have three arms of government. Mm -hmm. The executive, which is headed by the president, and then we have the parliament, okay? Then we have the judiciary. The judiciary yeah. Now you see, when parliamentarians are talking about increasing their, 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 their pays and uh, uh, pensions, what about the judiciary that mm -hmm. just cried uh, sometimes back, it doesn't have money. Where are our priorities when it comes to budget? True. Okay? Where are our priorities? Because now it's like we don't have priorities as a country. When members of parliament sit to discuss such a things, this shows this country has money. Okay? Mm -hmm. It shows this country has money that is just lying and people want <coughs> to get those monies that are lying, mm -hmm. doing nothing. We have stalled developments. Galana Kulalu is one of the Israel project, first of its kind, that never 
ever picked up okay mm -hmm. it made the israeli ambassador uh, to kenya resign because he said this is a project one of its own kind that has never even picked up mm -hmm. in the country so uh, for my sake i cannot be an ambassador to the country what does this demonstrate we, we lack priorities when you look at the big four agenda mm -hmm of the president Ture Kenyatta uh, in his 2017 campaign. We are not even an inch, okay, mm -hmm. to achieve it. Okay? Especially right they have now been watered down. They have been watered down by several things. Mm -hmm. Talk of healthcare, talk of food security. Okay? And you see, this thing came timely. Mm -hmm. Healthcare, we are in a health crisis right now. How many times are do our doctors uh, nurses gone on strike because of a pay okay mm -hmm. how many times are our hospitals not fully equipped okay okay how many times okay our 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 our, our magistrate our 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 judges have cried mm -hmm. due to lack of funds now talk of food security when you talk of food security how many times have we seen people die of hunger since 2017 after uh, after in, uh, after president Uru took an oath of an office how many times have we seen floods kill people okay yeah, there are yeah, monies yeah, in yeah, this country we, we want to pay them now before i give you another uh, statement yes. by the uh, leader of majority the international monetary fund this was uh january this year uh, had won that checking uh of a ticking bomb in Kenya's pension sector as the gap between retirement dues and actual savings continues to grow wider. Kenya, which in 2009 opted to delay the imposition by raising the retirement age for civil servants from 55 to 60 years, uh, is now facing pension obligations that have ballooned to 2.6 trillion. Uh, is and now uh, about 30% of GDP. This is much higher than what Kenyans pay as taxes. So to miongezo mzigwingine ya kulipa our retired members of parliament. Now the country's tax collection aggregate currently stands at 15.6%. This was by January this year. And now I'm sure imepungwa because of COVID-19. People are not remitting their taxes. Now even so, now the leader of majority, Patia uh, Moskimunya, said let's be fair to MPs who served in this parliament. They are pensionable in the first three instance. The only thing we are doing is that someone who is putting the correct value on that uh, 6,000 shillings they were entitled to 20 years ago, they can, uh, we can try to caution them. Is this fair really? It is not fair. Because let us sit down and look at the priorities we have. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you see in the same, same house, okay, the same, same parliament, we don't have a committee for retirees. We have a committee for health. Uh -huh. We have a committee for transport. Uh -huh. We have a committee for agriculture. Okay? Education. Why can't parliamentarians waste their energy or invest their energy, uh -huh. okay, in discussing very important uh, issues concerning education? Let us ask ourselves. We are in this uh, COVID situation, okay, where how are we going to manage this situation come 2021 there are no mechanisms in place unless this is just a hoax that mm -hmm. the can the the, the 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 country okay has been plunged into or we can say it is just but a game that is just being played to uh, to oppress a few or to oppress the majority and mm -hmm. benefit mm -hmm. a few yeah IMF should, I think it's high time IMF should take action and not only speaking or issuing statements. Mm -hmm. Because we Kenyans are burdened, okay, by all these things. When somebody sits and talks of, of increasing the pension for an MP, whereby after he fails to garner that seat, mm -hmm. this person will run and ensure that he gets his pension, okay? paid maybe within two weeks or within a month mm -hmm. there's a civil servant somewhere who retired long time ago up to now he has not received this pension okay 
what are we talking about? What, 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 are, we, uh, what are we considering? Okay? Mm -hmm. Who is more important? Is it this civil servant who retired, who used to pay taxes, mm -hmm. than this important, than this MP who comes and loots from the, from the, from the same, same civil servant who pays taxes? The taxes. Remember, MPs have a lot of benefits. Okay? Mm -hmm. If he fails to clean a seat, this person will be given, will, will, will be given a prostator to head. It will be appointed. Our, our any awarding other political. Award, yeah, there are so many <laughs> awards these people have. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let us not waste our energies, okay, saying that these people should be considered in pension. The person who is supposed to be considered in pension are civil servants. Okay? Actually, uh, the question, uh, what you're trying to say here is a, is a sentiment or a question that was rather uh, asked by the International Center for Policy and Conflict Executive Director Ndungu Wainaina, who said, uh, who asked now, the critical questions would be if the MPs themselves were contributing to a pension scheme. Do they do that, actually? They don't contribute to any pension scheme. They then don't. why are we giving them money? We don't have money. a pension scheme <laughs> for them. So... We are, these people are actually looting from the public. They oppress us, okay, every now and then. And I've always said, the time is coming mm. when the oppressed shall rise up and speak, mm -hmm. and it will be very worse. True. No one knew about the, 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 the Egypt uprising. No one knew about it. No one knew Libya will come and change. And be what no one knew all those things. No one knew France will come and no one knew all these things. But a revolution will come in this country. Mm -hmm. Right now, everyone is seeing each and everything that is happening. Everyone is seeing about the money that is getting lost. Mm -hmm. Everyone is suffering. A parent who needs to take a, a child to school in that local village mm -hmm. or in that area is not able to take that child to school because of maybe a hundred shillings. Mm -hmm. But somebody somewhere is taking his or, or, or her child to a school paying 100,000 comfortably mm -hmm. that he has managed to steal from this person who is unable to take a child to school just because of 100 shillings. Speaking so of time is coming. Uh, speaking of a revolution and the time coming, do you think the current generation we have of our young people are seeing this and they are ready to take the mantle? I'm telling you, uh, when you go now to social media, I, the, the, most of the young people are very active on social media. When you look at the social media, when you take your time to go through social media, mm -hmm. just reading and not writing or posting anything for, for likes and what, but just taking your time mm -hmm. to read what people are posting on social media, the youths are angry, okay? Mm -hmm. Most people are angry. Okay, and many people who are driving the social media are the youth, the young people. Are they the taking people right on now the social not, media, the young people uh, right but now, practically they are not? What, what, what I can tell you, one thing, mm -hmm. there's power in this social media. We used to undermine it mm -hmm. sometimes back, but right now there's a lot of power on social media. Why am I saying so? On, on one, being <laughs> there, there's somebody who has just been uh, denied a job mm, Pauline Jarog. <laughs> because of social media. Mm -hmm. A post somebody, she posted sometimes back. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of power on social media. Yesterday, there was something that was being aired on, uh, on one of the party. media stations, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. About the millionaire, COVID-19 millionaires. When you go to social media, even if you didn't watch it, okay? But the social something. media gives you all the story. Who are these people uh, giving the, 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 the information? They're the young people, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm telling you the truth. Time is coming. When things now will turn, mm -hmm. and this will be demonstrated, especially in 2022, you will see mm -hmm. a lot of change. The normal politics that we've been having mm -hmm. here and there, rhetoric stories, they won't be there. Now, um, uh, mo moving forward, before we look at the pertinent issues around uh, the pension scheme and uh, how this money will be used other than other platforms, now with the with the with the current house that has passed, actually we're waiting on the president to assent to this uh, bill. If he does so, uh, they will start receiving their money. I saw one of them. I'm forgetting his name. We're seeing the they are suffering in old age. Uh, they have uh, mortgages to pay. Those kind of things. Uh, they are even sick. They have none. Thing. But now, if these people go through, do you foresee a situation where 
another uh, parliament or another group we in the august house the 12th parliament maybe in the next maybe 15 they will say let's start giving pension to people who served between 2002 to 2013. you see when you set a presidency expects a lot from mm -hmm. it and uh, one thing i want to say is this eh? the people who are crying that they have mortgages to pay they are being auctioned they are being it shows the level of maturity and integrity that we voters lack this is a person who was in that house and failed mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. to pass a law to ensure there is sustainable agriculture okay there, there are facilities in schools in in hospitals in all there are good roads these are the people who failed so this is a good demonstration of the nincompoops that we elect okay in the august house mm -hmm. so it is high time we need to change and look into this true and as i've said these people have a lot of benefits Mm -hmm. Okay, even when they fail to clean a post, okay, to, re to, 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 to be re-elected, mm -hmm. they have a long life. Political appointments are always there, okay? Mm -hmm. So why do we have also to come again and reward them? For what? And for, they for have being made the our country... Of parliament, they they no, 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 no. <laughs> one, and one thing is this. You see, when the, 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 the parliament has passed a bill, Mm -hmm. It has been taken to the president. There are two things. One, if the president signs or returns it back for, 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 for uh, amendments, he sends back the parliament for amendments, mm -hmm. it is always good. When he ignores to sign it and it sits there for 14 days, it becomes a law. Uh -huh. Okay? So these are some of the things that we need to sit down and look into. So it is good if he acts on it. It's not the first time mm -hmm. uh, an, an, an increase in parliament in, uh, for parliament, uh, benefit for parliamentarians has been sent to him. Mm. There's a time it was sent to him and he returned it back. True. Which was very good. So at this time, we also need him to act on it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Either rejects it permanently, mm -hmm. okay? Or, because one, he's also a member of parliament, a former member of parliament. So he's... Let him not look at the benefit he's going to get. Mm -hmm. Plus, the being after uh, you know, if he, he, he has, the, see, he will have the presidency. You and see, the, there's the another MP. thing. <laughs> there's another another thing that was also passed where the former speakers, former vice president, former uh, prime minister, and, the, and his office. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they are pensionable now. The pension that they are going to get is high. Now, take to account. Mm -hmm. This is a member of parliament. He was a, a former member of parliament. He has deputy been a, a, a deputy prime, prime minister. minister. <laughs> he has been a minister. Okay. And also now the president. He is, he is now the president. Okay. Now, all this, the, all this, all these uh, positions, mm -hmm. this person is going to get uh, uh, pensions on them. Okay, Now, uh, let's, uh, the SRC is now coming on board. Uh, we have a statement here uh, that was issued, I think, on the... Uh, 12th now Thursday this is about the parliamentary pensions amendment bill of number 45 uh, which was bas passed by the National Assembly and now awaits uh, assent by his Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, the RSC is mandated by the Constitution to set and regularly review the remuneration and benefits of all state officers. Yes. Further, the uh, Salary and Remuneration Commission Act in Section 11G vets on SRC the mandate to make recommendations to the government on the review of pensions payable to current and past holders of public offices. So, the RSC is um, opposing this particular uh, bill and they want the president not to sign it. Actually, we would we'll, we'll listen in to a clip. I don't know if it's ready. The 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 SRC is against it. Yes. Yes. Let's listen in to what uh, the SRC has to say about this uh, statement or the bill rather. The Taxpayers Association also say the move contravenes Parliament's mandate and promotes a culture of non-adherence to the principles of the Constitution. In a health crisis, 
which has occasioned an economic crisis in this country. So given the current economic concern, the, the concerns that we have on the impact, for instance, of COVID-19 on the economy, and even before COVID-19, our economy was struggling. So really, this is the wrong time uh, to, 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 to push for an increase in, in, in pensions and to push for such a bill. And we therefore ask our leaders to be very sensitive about the crisis that we are in uh, at this point. This is a misguided move that seeks to perpetuate the culture of white collar jobs that are limited. We do know as Kenyans that a significant portion uh, of Kenyans are in the informal sector. No, no, that's the statement. But according to SRC, the, if the bill is enacted into law as proposed, it shall be, uh, it shall not only pile additional burden to taxpayers, but shall set a precedence and ripe effect, a ripple effect for the other categories of public officers to demand for equal treatment. You see, even these ones mm. are acknowledging or foreseeing if. Mm. And you can imagine the number of civil servants in this country, other organizations, other cabinet secretaries now considering I know the, 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 the first people will uh, rise to ask for the, an increase in pension mm -hmm. are the teachers. They are all, all of the good people who mm -hmm. come out and cry for their rights. Then they will be followed by the doctors. Then others will follow suit. So we need to protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to protect our country. And it is high time we need to set our priorities right. We have the big four. Let, let the president think of how the parliament is going to help him implement the big four agenda. They are saying 140 million C pesa mingi monthly. It is a lot of money. It is just like um, from MPs. It is just like uh, when somebody said, eh? mm -hmm. I saw Kanini Kega mm -hmm. the other time saying that. Uh, a referendum money is available. Okay? Fine. You're not objecting. And that's why I told you there is a money in this country mm -hmm. that only members of parliament know where it is. Where it is. And how to get it and eat it. Okay? <laughs> but for us, we know the country has no money. Mm -hmm. So when somebody when, when we misplace our priorities, mm -hmm. okay, and put other things that don't matter, okay, to a common monarchy mm -hmm. in place. Then we are, we are, we are a country that is, is set to punish its own people, but gain, uh, to, to make very few individuals gain. Mm -hmm. And this is what, this is the culture that we need to get to run away from. Mm -hmm. We need to ensure we develop our country. Let us look at Ethiopia, how it has managed I'm not saying it's good, it is bad, but look at how it has managed its own people. Look at how it has uh, established its, itself, okay? From, from the money it gets from its taxpayers. Look at also Tanzania. There are so many things Tanzania has done from its own money, okay? Mm -hmm. We have the BRT. The BRT we are grappling with here in the country Tanzania has implemented it very well and it's doing nicely. Rwanda implemented it very well, doing nicely. But for us here, we are depending on loans that money will come to this country where a Kenyan will pay, okay? And it goes to few individuals' pockets. So these are some of the things that we need to see done as, as Kenyans. And do, do you think the reason as to why these people uh, eat our money uh, without uh, any case because you see it's all not all about hawana jasha yao hapo no mm -hmm. it is all about an individual kenyan who is not even concerned about a penny okay in his country an individual in kenya who is not even concerned about the taxes he pays he is not even concerned what the taxes do Okay, mm -hmm. he's not even concerned about uh, the little he gives to the government and his expectations are not met. He's not concerned. This is a Kenyan who will come and cry, my MP has come to my area and I can't vote him because he did not give me something. 
He did not give me 500 shillings. He did not give me 100 shillings. He did not even do this. He did not. These are misplaced priorities. It is high time mm -hmm. we need to step up and take accountability of each and every member of parliament. Not that he has not given me 500 shillings. Because when we fail, okay, to ask for the right things that we are supposed to ask, ask as citizens mm -hmm. and voters of this country, then they get a priority to steal. Because when this person comes and gives you that 500, okay, and this person is depending on salary, so you are making this person to steal CDF money, okay? Mm -hmm. It is high time we need to vote for uh, integrity in a manner that we are voting a person who is going to deliver, not by giving me handouts, mm -hmm. but by ensuring there is good road, good piped water, electricity, okay? Good infrastructures in school, okay? These are some of the things that we need to sit down and look into. Not somebody who is going to give me hand. We need to vote in somebody who will go to the parliament mm -hmm. and play their roles of oversight, legislative, very well. Okay? And ensuring that we have a road somewhere. A, a, a project, let me say, like the one for, for, the, for, the, for the road construction in this country, that the road network in this country. The parliament should ensure that there is a timeline. And when that timeline comes to pass, and the, the, the road network is not complete the way it's supposed to be per kilometer. A, question, a debate should be, a very serious, intensive debate should be in Parliament. Let us see our parliamentarians debating, why is it that the, 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 the road network was supposed, by, by 2020, we were, we were supposed to have these kilometers of road. Why is it that we don't have those kilometers of road? What is happening? We no. need to see the minister, minister of road in Parliament being questioned on these things. That's what we call oversight. Mm -hmm. We need to see our members of parliament asking Minister of Health questions. Right. In fact, concerning our health system in this country. We need to improve it. Agriculture the same. But mm -hmm. we are not doing that. Okay. Actually, these are the things that I, I want us now to look into. We are in the middle of pandemic. Uh, we have the House, the Senate. They have taken uh, their sweet time to pass the revenue allocation. I don't know the, the ninth time what they will say or they still wait. And then we have the Parliament sitting down to discuss about the pension of their former colleagues in the middle of pandemic. Now, such kind of money. Should the House be sitting now, sitting to pass policies and uh, uh, measures that will see our doctors have been paid uh, or they have been uh, increased because they, they always cry of, the, of being understaffed and now we have the equipments, we need the PPEs, actually they are being looted, I, I don't know. This, uh, should this be the things the parliament should be doing or what the petition now it's for the ministries to implement what was passed? The work of the parliament is to ensure there is service delivered to the people. That is their work. And that's mm -hmm. why there is oversight. Okay? There is what you call a uh, legislate. They need to pass those laws that will protect Manainchi and also the policy that they pass. So whereby when any goes astray, let the law take its course. Okay? Mm -hmm. We have representation whereby they represent the people who sent them to that house. Mm -hmm. Okay? But we are lacking all this accountability. The basic of all is accountability. Whereby a laxity or the ignorant part of the voter in making his member or, or governor accountable is a plus, plus, plus to this member of parliament and the governor. That's why you see parliament and the senate will waste time mm -hmm. debating on how to share 15%, okay, to the counties and not how to ensure there is even 60% going to the counties. That is why Parliament or Senate will sit down to impeach a governor, okay, when things have gone wrong, mm -hmm. but they failed to protect, okay? So failure to protect, high rate of impeachment will occur.
Mm -hmm. So, what only need to do is to have good governance. And the only way to achieve good governance is to have good people in place, good elected members of parliament in place, mm -hmm. who are focused on this. And it is the, it is the, the role of you and I, the voter. We need to do this. And uh, you, you have mentioned about the, the voters so many times, and the voter is, almo is almost the same person who will tomorrow come and tell you, I have this idea, I know when I go there, I will implement ABCD, I will ensure. Now, for the sake, like we've been speaking of the pandemic, and many people are back home, we have seen increased gender-based violences. We have seen people... Uh, becoming ill in terms of mental wellness they are not okay is it my my problem as the voter for the parliamentarians not to pass policies or to come up with uh, measures that will see the populars are protected in terms of if they are back home well, they have enough food like it happened to other countries we saw them being fed by their by their country by their government here in Kenya, actually, they have withdrawn the 100, uh, 1,000 they were sending weekly to vulnerable families. Uh, it is uh, the role of a voter. Is it, yes, it's the same voter will come to you and ask mm -hmm. you for that vote. Mm -hmm. I don't object. It is true. Mm -hmm. But I always have an underlining word in bold mm -hmm. and capital letters, accountability. When I talk of accountability... I call upon each and every Kenyan, call your leader onto accountability. One, ask this person, yes, you promised this and this and this. Remember, the MP is always in the, when the session is on, is in, is in the parliament on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The member of parliament, he's supposed to be in his uh, constituency, on Monday, uh, Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. Mm -hmm. But you see, what we have decided to do, or what we have encouraged, we as citizens, we as voters, we who always cry, is we want to see our member of parliament coming in my area and telling me, oh, it is this versus this, okay? It is either this or this. Mm -hmm. It is not all about my member of parliament coming and telling me, I was, because you sent me to represent you mm -hmm. in this house, mm -hmm. I've managed to do this, I've managed to do this, I've mm -hmm. managed to table this, I've managed to table this, and what, from what I've tabled, mm -hmm. this is what has been implemented, this is waiting implementation, this has been rejected because of this and this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or this one, I'm still working on it. Mm -hmm. And that is why in the Constitution, we have something called public participation. Remember, every bill that goes to the Parliament has to, 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 to have what's called public participation. Mm -hmm. The finance bills, the health bills, all those bills, even the education, because it touches one inch down there. Mm -hmm. So they need public participation. Okay? So we need to interact with that. And what the voter needs to know is that we need to be uh, involved in all this thing. Mm -hmm. When my member of parliament is going to table a motion in the parliament, remember this is my representative that I've sent there mm -hmm. to legislate and oversight. Okay? So there are two things he's going to do. To legislate, mm -hmm. ensuring that bill passes. Mm -hmm. Two, to oversight mm -hmm. and ensure whatever he passed is being implemented. Mm -hmm. That's what we call oversight. Now, when I sit with him, the question, the hard questions I should be asking the member of parliament. And you see, when KBC airs the Senate proceedings or the parliament proceedings, it is for us to first of all get the real picture of what my member of parliament is doing in that house. Mm -hmm. One. Two, it is for me to know the bills that are being passed in that house. How do they affect me? in one way or the other, either positive or negative. But we are How busy. We are. But we've <laughs> kept ourselves so busy, mm -hmm. okay? Ignorance has made us not even attain this. And, one, and, and also, when my member of parliament comes to my area, or where 
I voted him. We have that constituency office. He should be coming, not getting cries or only bursaries. No. The question that should be on this tray, one should be, how many bills have you passed? Okay? That benefits me. That benefits me mm -hmm. in this constituency. Okay? How many, uh, 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 how many uh, bills are you looking forward to pass? And how are you going to involve us mm -hmm. in this bill so that we ensure that this is what we are, this is what we, we are, we, we are achieving? Or when are you sitting with us so that you, we have this memorandum we want you to present to the parliament as the people of a uh, Makadara constituency, as the people of Kandu constituency, as the people of um, Kurene constituency, those constituencies, we need to hear in parliament mm -hmm. uh, uh, that my, in my constituency I was there, this is what we, have, we are looking forward to, this is what we want, this is what we want to do, and we, 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 we are requesting for this and this and this, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the role of a member of parliament. Now, if these people do not do that, should we, the electorates, take it to the streets to make them pass policies that will see the food security in this country, we are secure, we, will, we are safe from uh, natural calamities like the floods? Because actually these are the things that can be controlled. If we had the dams, uh, like the project, the Northern Collector Tunnel, mm. uh, which was downplayed. Mm -hmm. Other projects that came down. Should now, with the people, speaking of the revolution you mentioned, should we take it to the streets on this particular uh, thing? One, you see, when you talk of the, the, the dams and whatever, Ethiopia is building a dam mm -hmm. from River Nile. True mm -hmm. or false? All right. Actually, as you, as you respond to that, mm -hmm. let's hear what our people are saying okay. uh, regarding this matter. We have Captain Muammar. He says, hello, I'm Gaddafi watching uh, the show from Wetelia Maraba. Thank you so much. Oh, the word, those um, pigs. This is Eric Ortiz. And then we have El Pose, K.E. Congrats to the idea. Reason in Ijuate hiyo pesa ingekulwa na hawa se utupima sana na hizo suti wameva. I think he's trying to say uh, it's a good idea. You want footing a cool now and get a used to reissue. Then we have mm -hmm, Skita Emisa saying, <laughs> then everybody should be paid in this country for doing nothing. Mm. They do nothing. <laughs> Ademilo Kingori wa Magomo says, never ever. They are just the same as the ghost workers and they shouldn't be paid even. Uh, they shouldn't be paid. Uh, even a single coin, Kinangop watching as usual. Thank you, Adimilo. We have realist X smoke. Heard the words you people are putting here. What about social amenities? What about teachers, nurses, doctors, people who are the true leaders of our society? They should know a revolution is coming. Thank you so much, realist X smoke. We have Weru Paul. Good morning, watching the show from Nyeri County. Emmanuel Simio Wafula says no. Those guys looted enough to sustain them. Why should our tax cater for them after retirement? Yet some of them are facing major scandals with pending cases in courts. It is a big no. Let that money be directed to feed the hungry and improve lifestyles of the poor. And on Twitter we have at Alex Kimutai. He says they stole while in office. Now they want to steal uh, when out. Can't happen. And... Uh, Koti, at Koti Nef Philip King says, I don't agree, those are the uh, thieves. I think we have uh, some other two comments here uh, from Twitter. Uh, this is uh, at Bella Ndishu says, this is Kenya. Everyone does what they want. <laughs> Dear Mr. President, that is a hashtag. Everyone is suffering, people dying mercilessly. We should act now, not wait till voting. We will all be blinded once more. And uh, at Real Schema says, after politics, no compensation. You campaigned living in a house and having a car. Why buy a bigger car, bigger house? That's why Europeans and peace prime ministers ride bikes to work while we have gasolers on poor roads. So it's a sad affair. He continues to say, if you can't sustain your lifestyle after politics, do not go into politics. If you can't survive on a car, house you had after being a leader, do not go into politics. 
why is that leaders need to change their lifestyles at that expense hey. Okay, I'm seeing uh, so people are agitated by this particular affair and you are mentioning about yes. the social media and this is a real mm, picture mm, they mm. use are agitated by this yeah. idea yeah. and I so we, we, we are complaining uh, they want this money but um, I'm, I'm informed part of them uh, they, they made the roads they never walked in mm -hmm. these are the people who fought for the independence I'm told so Fighting for independence is one thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Ensuring there are good roads, you are managing yourself, you are ruling yourself and governing yourself mm -hmm. very well is another thing, which we are not doing. We fought for independence because we believed the white man is taking our land that you and I are supposed to till, mm -hmm. okay? We fought for independence because we believed the white man rule is an oppression to a black man okay but right now a black man rule is an oppression to a fellow black man mm -hmm. okay so we are in what we call neocolonialization right now a black man is oppressing a fellow black man these are some of the things that we need to change true sure. okay and as i mentioned earlier the youths that we see right now, they have known the power of social media. Right now, most youths are not socialites on, on social media. Mm -hmm. But they have decided to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. They have decided to watch the government. True. Okay? Mm -hmm. They have decided to watch their leaders. Mm -hmm. And I also want to, 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 to commend the work the LSK is doing. It is also helping the common monanchi in being a government watchdog. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that we need to do. These are some of the things that we need to put in more effort. Mm -hmm. And if we continue this way, if we keep on this spirit, I'm telling you the truth, come 2022, people will make good choices. People are not going to make bad choices. Mm -hmm. Remember, our constitution, that the constitution the MPs have decided not to implement it fully, mm -hmm. because when CIC, Constitutional Implementation Committee that was headed by Nyachai, uh, its term came to an end. It handed over the responsibility to the parliament. Mm -hmm. There's a committee in parliament. That is the Commission for Institutional Implementation Committee in parliament, headed by the Ndaragwa MP, Jeremiah Kioni. Okay? Mm -hmm. They have decided not to fully implement this parliament, the, the constitution, but bring us another thing. The amendment. Okay? <laughs> now... Mm -hmm. Because one, the constitution, if fully implemented, this constitution is one of the best constitution. Because there is that power of recall. I need to recall my MP because mm -hmm. he's not doing anything in the parliament. Because he's not doing mm -hmm. the responsibility that I sent him to do mm -hmm. in the parliament. I, I want us to listen in to some argument in the parliament uh, regarding the pension, how you should be paying them uh, 100,000 for being <laughs> your, the MPs. Uh, for that particular period of time, you know, they, 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 they served in the first parliament and by the way, those people, you know, they never went home. Many of them served more than uh, uh, three terms, five terms, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, they were good MPs and by then mm -hmm. there were no people unlike now. Say to Nanganganese, we to Kowengi because we want to become rich. Let's listen into some of the arguments in parliament. Moved by the National Assembly is in keeping with the recommendation of the Akiwomi Tribunal that the former lawmakers be paid an equivalent of $1,000 each as living pension from July 1st, 2010. Most of these people, when you see them, the, the money that they need is basically for medication. Many of them are aging and are sickly, but they have nothing really uh, to even buy a medicine. The Parliamentary Service Commission had previously adopted the Akiwomi report putting in motion a protracted engagement to increase the monthly pension to 100,000 shillings. If one was to, to look at the current, uh, the best terminology, that somebody who was entitled to 6,000 in 20 years ago, what is the current value of that 6,000, right, today, so that they can at least, uh, we, can, we can try uh, to cushion them against the vagaries of inflation plus all those things. Because they serve this country with honor. 
Some current lawmakers have, however, expressed concerns that the passage of the bill is likely to have ripple effects in the public service. It will create a spiral effect within the civil service in that if the members of parliament can increase their pension to 100,000, what about us? The bill presents a new dawn as it will see former legislators who have been earning... Yeah, I, I think you got it right in the parliament. The argument, uh, <laughs> MP Buddy says these people are old, they are sick, and they need money to cater for them. And the majority leader uh, says um, we need to cushion them. No. They are old people. Actually, you know that now they the, the uh, they are trying to um, to lobby for their colleagues. They are protecting. The, 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 uh, themselves mm -hmm. mm, and you see it's a dangerous thing what about that retired teacher in that village who is suffering what about a retired doctor who is in that village suffering? Mm -hmm. we saw uh, another time uh, a retired nurse somewhere in Kilifi or where in the past of coast distributing masks where did she get money this is a sacrifice they decided to do. Mm -hmm. What about that MP who retired a long time ago? What is he doing? Nothing. But he's depending on the, us. The said pension. The said pension. You mm -hmm. see, this is what we call misplaced priorities. And let each and every Kenyan, let each and every youth, okay? What youth should do? Denounce handouts denounce handouts vote in eligible leaders okay mm -hmm. vote in eligible leaders the yester years of parliament were good was a good parliament a parliament of sound mind where people met in the house to debate on an issue that affects mananchi and coming up with solutions mm -hmm. but today's parliament is full of psychophants. It's full of uh, remote controlled people. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is where we lose, uh, 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 we lose it. But when we have people who know that my role mm -hmm. actually is representation, legislative, and oversight, and I have to execute my role to mm -hmm. the latter, mm -hmm. then it will be good. When the president was changing, the the, the 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 leadership of the house mm -hmm. he said i want to bring people who will ensure the government uh, agenda passes mm -hmm. does he want to tell me that a pension of an mp is a government agenda does he want to tell me mm -hmm. that uh, a referendum is a government agenda okay that will benefit a monainchi Mm -hmm. To me, I say no, because uh, I believe the government agenda headed by the president is the big four agendas, okay? Food security, good health, housing, and uh, things to do with the, uh, what is, what is it? Uh, I've forgotten this other Infrastructure. I think infrastructure, okay? Mm -hmm. These are some of the very important things that could have given a scorecard to the, to the, to the government of today. But none of these members of it, the leader of majority, is discussing these things. Mm -hmm. When you go to the Senate, they have taken all time debating on revenue share. They are fighting or 15%. They are fighting over 15%. Forgetting about the 85%. True. Okay? Mm -hmm. that, is, that, that, that lies unaccounted for. Okay? Let us, it is high time that we get people in Parliament and Senate who are ready to defend the common mananchi on their priorities. Mm. Actually, I feel I'm, I'm equally perturbed with the issue. Right now, the schools are closed. Yes. We have been speaking of the teenage pregnancies, and we have heard all, uh, all, all manner of uh, stories how the, our teens are getting pregnant, they are exchanging their bodies for pads. They used to get the sanitary towels in schools, but now they are home. Should the members of parliament be sitting down and address the issue on how these ladies or our sisters should be getting the sanitary towels now that they are not in school. You see, 
we have the this seat, the women MP, or women reps, okay? These are some of the things these people should be discussing the parliament. These are some of the things that should come to an end. At this time, we should not be having people in our community lacking sanitary pads mm -hmm. because of the leadership structures that we've put in place. Mm -hmm. These women rep, they have a, a budget, okay? They have a kitty. What are they doing with that kitty? Let each and every Kenyan know. Mm -hmm. Let each and every youth know. A woman rep has a kitty. A very big kitty. What are they doing with that kitty? All right, the ladies, I'm sure you are hearing this. Make sure you, you, you follow it up. We want to take a very short break, and when we come back, we'll continue with the discussion. I hope uh, you're getting something you're learning from our discussion this morning. Let's take a very quick a short break. We'll be back soon. Do not go too far. Thank you for keeping us company and if you just tuned in, this is why in the morning my name is Dereva Hillary. I'm speaking to Cyrus, a little political analyst. We are looking into the pension fiasco of our members of parliament who want to be paid or the uh, current Parliament has okayed them to be given 100,000 monthly as their pension for being uh, our MPs those days from 1984 to 2001. And our question we are asking you, are you okay with this? Should the members of parliament who are not serving you currently be paid their pension? Should they? All our social media platforms, we are Y254 channel and Twitter is at Y254 channel. My handle is at Murani Hillary and my name is Dereva Hillary. Welcome back. Said as we were mentioning about our ladies being taken care of by the, uh, you see the women rep have the kitty. Mm. What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing, but uh, they are waiting for that political time, uh, that campaign time. To make sense to make sense and get distribute those things. Mm -hmm. But right now, what are they doing? Nothing. Our, our, our daughters, our sisters are at home. They lack this thing. Mm -hmm. What I believe, we should not, I don't believe in always giving, making somebody depend on you. No. Put mechanisms in place that will make these people rely on themselves. Mm -hmm. Put mechanisms in place that will make it easy for these people to acquire these uh, pads that they need to use, okay? Mm -hmm. we, we don't need to force them to get these pads through other mechanisms. For us to have a brighter future, for us to have a good future, we need to ensure our girls are protected. If they are not protected, okay, then we have destroyed a nation. Mm -hmm. Remember, when you go to population, okay, when you go to population or the census report, in any country, women are always more than men. So we need to protect our nation. Because if we leave them suffer the way they are suffering, they'll give birth to children, okay? In the state they are today, they will live poor, mm -hmm. okay? We shall have high rate of uneducated persons in the country. We shall have high rate of unemployment in the country. Remember, when she gets pregnant, she's going to give birth. The population is increasing. And the population is increasing. To babies, babies. Babies are giving birth to babies. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They will grow uh, at a time. Then a nation, population, when that census will be carried out, it will have increased. Mm -hmm. Okay? Job opportunities in the country are not there. Okay? Any sustainable activity is not there in the country. So, what are we doing to save this generation? Actually, no. Um, I, I think I think ministerial uh, affairs should be treated like health already. It should be. If we can treat uh, people with non-communicable diseases like tuberculosis for free, if the ARVs have, are being given and you see 
all together it's a question of molarity but of course why can't we have the sanitary towers be made to be like a free thing in this country mentioning of that affirmative action should be uh, put in place mm -hmm. ensuring that uh, one you see there's this thing that uh, when you talk of AIDS and tuberculosis there's this thing that is called uh, condom mm -hmm. or CD mm -hmm. when you go to a pub they are there for free for free true okay mm -hmm. subside the government subside the or public toilets you find they are them. there mm -hmm. why can't we have the same on these sanitary pads why can't we have them mm -hmm. in this public toilet in this I go, let this and that's why i'm saying the women rep a woman rep should stand in the parliament and table a, such a bill in the parliament mm -hmm. to ensure that these things are all over because i believe in this town the 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 the, the, the washroom that you go to we don't share so they can have their own there. True. Okay? Let them be distributed through county governments or through uh, health, uh, community health workers. Okay? In those areas. Mm -hmm. So when these things are distributed, remember this thing comes monthly. Okay? When they are distributed, we shall manage this thing in a better way. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sure. Let, let them work with uh, uh, interested parties or those private institutions or any other stakeholder who may think this is a brilliant idea but but you see the the the, the only idea they could come around uh, this issue was a reproduction bill which has stalled the reproduction bill has stalled i don't object mm -hmm. but you see when you look into the reproduction bill itself what are their priorities as much as we throw stones to our girls that are pregnant the question we should be asking ourselves is this. Mm -hmm. What mechanisms have we put in place to ensure we protect or we, come, we bring this to a stop? Okay? We talked of FGM. Mechanisms were put in place to ensure that FGM is managed and comes to an end. Mm -hmm. So what mechanisms are we putting in place to ensure our girls acquire pads? One, either they should sell pads at five shillings. Like, you see, something like salt has never increased. Mm -hmm. So let, let them make a pad be available to each and everyone. Let them come up, let these uh, uh, companies that come uh, produce pads, eh, or manufacture pads, eh, mm -hmm. manufacture washable pads. Okay? When masks came, they were telling us, you dispose, <laughs> you dispose your mask. Mm -hmm. But you see, it was expensive. Right. Somebody somewhere sat and came up with an innovation. Masks are that are washable. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me buy one and wash it. Or let me have two masks and wash. Rather than keep buying masks because it will be expensive. So let us have high distribution rate mm -hmm. of washable mm -hmm. sanitary pads. Okay? To our girls, to our sisters, to our daughters. Because this thing is uh, taking a wrong direction. And we are losing a generation. Mm -hmm. That is what we are losing. We are building a poor nation. Mm. Because a poor girl gives birth to a poor child. True. The, the, no miracles will happen for this person to become rich. Mm. Because this person has a very poor... Remember, this person won't go to school. True. You've gotten pregnant because you lack that shilling to go and buy a pad. Exactly. Now, there was an issue that was raised by one of the uh, respondents here who mentioned about uh, the gaslers in our country. These MPs have big vehicles. Mm. They are the people who own uh, the best hotels here in town. They have the people who have uh, chunks of land. Mm. You know, how do you want to go when you want to they were being uh, rewarded for mm. being mm. loyal. Mm. And now we want to pay them. And someone here is asking them, is asking, uh, this is um, Misifa Babat of Godel, why should they get paid? That money should be used for development. Development on the roads mm -hmm. uh, that Magari Kubo Kubo. And uh, the other person was saying the, the, uh, the, the, the European nation, mm -hmm. they work as the service. Why can't we have our people here being our leaders for service 
purposes, not for money purposes. Comparing the two, the European leaders and uh, the Kenyan leaders. The European leader will ride on a bicycle, okay, mm -hmm. going to the office. The Kenyan leader will drive a V8, mm -hmm. the Gazler. The Gazlers are fully conditioned. Safe house. <laughs> That's a safe house. <laughs> When you are inside, lock, all windows locked, you still... Untinted. Untinted. You still get fresh air, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it is con air conditioned nicely. Mm -hmm. That is why this person cannot think of constructing a road where it comes from. Or even the sewers. I will, yes. I will feel your roof. They f don't feel it, okay? Mm -hmm. But a person who is riding a bicycle, going to work, Okay? He will think of, let me make sure that there's a road here, a tarmac road, and clean. Okay? So that to avoid myself from dust, because I need to be in the office and I need to be neat. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, because a Kenyan leader wants to be neat in the office, the windows will be closed of the car. Nah, so, so blue now on when he's <laughs> passing, there's no dust on him. Mm -hmm. Okay? When he's uh, walking, he'll alight at the parliament, goes to the house. Mm -hmm. He's very neat. But that person is riding a bicycle in Europe, goes to the house, uh, to the office, very neat. Why? The bicycle made him realize that I need to do more. Mm -hmm. Okay? Service delivery. It all starts with me. Okay? It all starts with me. True. Yes. And that's where we need to be. As you uh, actually, here is the time. Now, uh, there's another thing that was mentioned here. I'm trying to get that comment, but it's an example or it's an outcry. Why are they being paid? Many in the in the in the in the parliament they were arguing they served us, and we have mentioned a few of the things. But now uh, I want us to go back to the food security and malnutrition. They have been saying, uh, Kenyans, this is what you should be eating. How do I get what to eat if I don't have money? Where are the policies to make sure I have enough money in my pocket? Uh, and is this food available and cheap for me? And you see, or affordable, rather. That is what youths and Kenyans should be asking themselves. When we found somebody for presidency, okay, mm -hmm. what has this person done? From where it comes from? Is there food security from where it's coming from? Are there good health systems from where it's coming from? Because mm -hmm. I believe most people who want to be presidents have been MPs, senators, governors. So what have they done, first of all, to that area? F f to that small area they have been representing, what have they done? Mm -hmm. These people should not be paid these monies. Let these monies go to something else. Let us improve our health sector. Let us improve our agriculture. Let us have sustainable activities for our own people. We come up with short-term activities for the youths. Like Kazim Tan is a short-term thing. Mm -hmm. And my clarion call for the youth, I can ask you, stop even doing those jobs. Cleaning gutters and... <laughs> it doesn't benefit you. It's not sustainable. <laughs> it is not sustainable. Let us sit down and start doing sustainable things. Mm -hmm. Let us engage ourselves in sustainable activities, mm -hmm. not short-term activities. All we right. live for a short time. Mm -hmm. We are given handouts because they believe we are short-term people. Mm -hmm. Let us stop being short-term and short-sighted. All right. In that same breath, your final recommendations? My final recommendation is that President Uru Kenyatta should re uh, have amendments on that bill and return it back to the parliament, okay? And let parliament not waste its time discussing mm -hmm. on how to increase its own pension, and yet itself does not even contribute to any pension scheme. So let us be vigilant. And I want to call upon the youths, okay? Mm -hmm. Let us call our leaders on to accountability. That is the only thing that will save us as a nation. 
All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Cyrus, for coming and highlighting and putting things into perspective. A call has been made here for you, electorate, how you vote your leader, what they say they will do, will they do it? And we need to be of sound mind. We denounce uh, the handouts that has been a sales ritual for you. We were looking into the pension uh, bill that awaits president kenyatta to uh, send if he does then it becomes a law and these people uh, the former mps from 1984 to 2001 will start receiving a monthly pension of 100,000 kenyan shillings that's close to there are about 350 of them uh, up to that particular period of time so that's a lot of money which will go to people who worked and like you have said in your comments here they looted i don't know how true is that maybe they were good people in there <laughs> but anyway uh we should be uh, focusing on other things uh food security health and of course even our health system when you're speaking about our girls thank you so much for being part of us my name is Dereva hillary have yourself a very good day and good morning why two five four imagine